Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is about uh, how to create and host a simple web page or homepage on NomadNet. I've talked about how to install the NomadNet software and set it up. Now I want to make a, a homepage that's then served up over the reticulum network that other people can see. Um, I need to apologize for the noise in the background. The wind is howling and English windows are like English plumbing, which is not the best in the world. <laughs> I put masking tape around the gaps, but it still makes a howling noise when the wind blows. It's got a bit of a storm situation here, so we'll have to live with it. <clears throat> I waited, but I gave up waiting. Anyway, um, so I want to make a homepage. I'm doing this um, on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, which is the, uh, the operating system I'm using for hosting the Nomad Network software. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to set up this page. And um, before actually making the page, we have to check a few settings. <clears throat> so um, let's just go and have a look in the config file. And I will show you where that is. It's in the home directory <clears throat> and then the .nomad network folder. Remember to turn on um, show hidden files. Otherwise, you won't be able to see it. Anything beginning with a dot in Linux is hidden. <clears throat> so that's on, so we can double click on it. And here is the config file. So I'm going to edit that. <laughs> the wind is howling. And um, if you start at the top and <clears throat> work your way down, depending what you put a extra in this file, like here I've set up a radio node and I later might have some TCP IP um, interface addresses and so on. And this list can get longer. So the line numbers, of course, change for the, the uh, settings that come lower down. So that's something to watch out for. But I know that it's on line 216 in my particular config file. Yours may be plus or minus a bit. And what I've done, this is normally hashed out so that the um, page files that are going to be served only are scanned on startup of the program, which means that if you change them while the program's running, it probably won't notice. Um, so what I've done is I've changed this page refresh interval, or just put it in by deleting the hash, uh, the comment sign, equals one, and this is supposed to be in minutes, I think. Uh, yeah, in minutes, so that means one minute. So every one minute it should scan to see if the page has been updated. <clears throat> Although actually what I notice in practice is that as soon as I save and edit to a page, the web server, let's call it, that actually serves the new version immediately. It doesn't wait for a minute. So maybe, um, maybe this is not necessary, but I've done it anyway, just in case. The other thing is, um, while I was looking in here, I noticed the announce interval because these nodes announce themselves on the reticulum network at a certain interval. If you're using using mess chat, I think you can set it to something like 15 minutes <clears throat> auto announce. Um, it doesn't really need to announce that often. And you can see the default value would have been six hours. Um, but because I'm experimenting a lot, I want my node to announce itself more frequently so I can find it quickly on other machines. So I've uh, <clears throat> taken out the hash so it's no longer commented out and made the announce interval 30 minutes. Actually, I think it was set to 360 minutes. It wasn't commented. <clears throat> anyway, I've changed it to 30 minutes. So every half hour, the node will announce itself. So having done that, I would like to make a simple home page. And the home page goes in a file called index.mu. If you're familiar with HTML web pages, then it would be index.html or index.h. TM. Um, but in this situation, we're using a markup language, so it's index.mu. So I'm going to create that page. I've got a second tab here. <clears throat> Have I? <laughs> no, wait. I'm going to do it in the um, in the command line, because then when you edit a file that doesn't exist, it creates the file for you, which is handy. So this is the um, Nomad Network software running. It's called NomadNet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to create a page. Actually, it's already in that right directory. Let me show you where that is <clears throat> in case you'd like to see it using a file browser. It's a bit more visual. So here's the nomad, .nomad network directory again under home. And if you look in here, there's a directory called storage. And if you go into storage, you will find that here is a directory called pages. A lot of other things get stored too, but let's look at pages and the folder is empty at the moment. So I'm going to put the index.mu file in that pages directory. So let's go back to the command line and I'm already in that pages directory. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to use nano. So 
nano and then it's called index.mu <clears throat> to create that file. So there it is. Um, if you're used to using sudo in front of nano, because often if you want to edit system files, you use sudo nano, you have to watch out because if you do that <clears throat> creating this page, then the owner is root because of the sudo. And then um, if you try to edit it with another editor that isn't coming from root, but it's the user, normal user, then you'll have um, write permission errors and things. So um, <clears throat> I had a problem with that earlier. So you have to remember that. So um, just nano then the file name. So this is the um, index.mu, which is like the root or the home page for the, the server, the web server or the page server. And what should we put in here? Something very simple. It has to be in um, the language which is used in this um, system, which is called Micron, not HTML. And if you just put text on the page, it's served up as plain text. So let's do that. So let's put something in here like maybe hello world. <clears throat> and I'm going to exit and save that. Um, actually, I won't exit. I'll just do control O to write it out. File name to write index.mu is correct. Press enter. So it's been written now. <clears throat> I won't have an exit it. So um, let's go back to here. And if you click on network, ah, <clears throat> it's not showing any nodes. Um, you have to click in this empty space. This is something else I'm telling you. Press control L, which is down here. It tells you control L. And then it lists all of the announcements that this system has seen on the reticulum network. So those are other nodes <clears throat> that are listed there. I like to see that, then I know it's working and it's connected to, to the network. Um, okay, so how do I look at the page I just created using this software, which is not really designed to be a web browser, but anyway, you have to click on node info. That means my node info. And my node info is showing you this, which um, I've shown you before in another video. And if you click browse, it will browse the home page that's just been created, hopefully. Yes, there it is. So this is the page index.mu, the home page. And there's the text I put in, hello world. So that works. Goodness me, it works. I'm happy. So um, having done that, obviously we want to add a bit more to it because it's not the most exciting home page in the world. Um, that reminds me, uh, what I wanted to do is to add a, a message me function. And <clears throat> what I can do is if I cheat and look in my notes, um, I've already Here's an example. If we put that in there as well, control C, and then go over to the editor, which is in here. We can test if it updates now. So I'm going to put it in here with control shift V. Remember the shift because it's a command line program. And then control O to save it to here, press enter. OK, that's hopefully saved. Oops. Now if we go back and look at the web server, <clears throat> there's no refresh button on here. I don't think. So the easiest way, I just hit browse again. And there we are. It has updated. You see it updated probably immediately, and but we didn't see it until I pressed the browse button. But um, this shows you how easy it is to add things to this page. And if you want to message me, please go ahead with this LXMF address and send me a message. Um, what I would like to do is have a button here that just says message me, and you click on the button. And that then automatically starts the um, conversations, it's called here, <clears throat> which we can look at here. They're none selected at the moment. And then it would um, uh, allow a message to be sent automatically where you wouldn't have to copy paste this. But that will be the subject of a, another video. <clears throat> so that's that. Um, I've made a page that works. And what I'd like to do now, of course, is to link it to other pages. So I'm going to make another page. And um, let's make a test page. So in here, what I'm going to do is exit this. And I'm going to say we're in the right directory, pages, yes. So we're going to say nano and then test page .mu. <clears throat> so that will create a file called test page .mu in the same directory in the pages directory. So there it is. and. Um, Let's put some, test, uh, some text in here. This is a test page, just to see if it works. <clears throat> this is a test page. OK, that looks good. So um, let's uh, write this out. <clears throat> Control O, that, yes. So that should have been written. And let's try to link it 
into the home page. Um, that's interesting. How are we going to do that? Okay, I know how. So what I'm going to do is um, perhaps I should show you how to use the other editor as well while I'm at it because it's less messy than this. If we go to the file manager, you can see there's the test page.mu I just created, there's the index. I want to edit this one and it's actually quicker and easier perhaps to double click on there and you get this editor instead would be called Kate on KDE. I've forgotten what they called it on GNOME. Anyway, this is that file that I just created for the index. I just uh, put some carriage returns, which has made this star appear. That means it hasn't been saved. I press Control S, it saves it, which is quick and easy. So what I want to do is add some um, more code in here to link to that test page.mu. And the way to do this is for me to look in my notes, because I've already done it earlier. <laughs> it's not very intuitive how to write this. So um, I'll tell you what this means. This is the text I'm going to put in there. This is the color you want, F0FD, a uh, four byte hex code. And I'm sure somewhere there's a table of colors. I know this color looks, I think, bright and visible, probably green. So you'll be able to see that. And then here in brackets, <clears throat> this is the text that's going to be printed in that color, which is test page. So we'll have a a link on the page that says test page and it'll be this color and then you have to obviously tell it the link you want to go to just as you would in html and so the link <coughs> is to look at this test page.mu which is in the page directory is that page or pages we'll find out soon i'm sure so i'm going to copy this <coughs> Control c and i'm going to put that into my home page with Control v and <coughs> It looks okay, so hopefully it will produce some text called with text page written on it. You can click on to link to that page. So I'm going to hit Control S to save it, and then I'm going to go back to this software, the Nomad Net program, and I'm going to, as I said, there's no refresh button, so I'm going to hit the browse button, and oh look, it worked. <clears throat> Having a good day today. Here is what I said would pop up text that says test page and I click on it oh it actually then links and changes the view to this test page.mu and there's the text I put on there it says this is a test page that reminds me of a place I used to work where there was a button that said press f1 for help and when you pressed f1 for help you'd be taken to a page that said this is the help page and nothing else but um, yeah <laughs> I hope they I hope they fixed it by now so anyway that's the test page it worked Problem now, of course, is how is a user going to get back to the home page because there's no back or home button. And this, um, I suppose on a normal web browser, you'd have a back button you could press, but it's messy. I'd rather have something here I can click. So let's try adding that in to the test page so that we can uh, go back. So what I'm going to do is use the, uh, the nicer text editor to edit this test page, <clears throat> this one. So I'm going to double click on it. And here it is. This is the test page put a blank line in and now I'm going to add some code that will take us back. How am I going to do that? <clears throat> I'm going to copy paste it from here. And this is the back button code. <clears throat> so it's going to use the same color again, F0 FD. That's not an O, it's a zero. And then in brackets, back is the word that's going to get printed in this color and then linked to that word when you click on it is this, which is the index page, index.mu in the directory called page. So I'm just going to copy this. <clears throat> Control C, and I'm going to paste it into my test page.mu with Control V, and I'm going to save it with Control S. So it's now saved. <clears throat> Will it work? And hopefully the web server has updated and has got the new page. It's not here yet because we need to reload the page. So let's start at the beginning again. Hit browse. There's the index page test page link. Click on it there, and there's the text on the test page. And here's a back button. If I press it. Wow, it goes back. So that all worked beautifully. Sorry about the howling wind. It's still howling. <laughs> this masking tape around the window didn't help at all. may have even made it worse, but there you go. So um, that's it for this video. It's a nice short one. Give it a try if you haven't already. And if you have any suggestions, please make them in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, please ask questions. And if you can tell me how to... Um, <clears throat> make a message me button, please tell me. I'm going to um, actually try that myself. Um, there are places you can copy and paste um, this uh, particular language from. 
for making simple web pages. So uh, I'll put a link there in the description. The uh, playground where you can try the parser, I'll put that in, in the description. As I said, you can then test what you've written here in there if you want. But I'm just testing it live on the, the server part of the Nomadnet program. So that's it. Remember to like if you did and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you in the next video.